In this video, I will be demonstrating Scotch Darning. Scotch darning is a method of darning hand knits and other fabrics, but it, for this video we will be discussing hand knits. It is essentially weaving. Because it is a weaving technique, it produces a very stable and firm repair. This, uh, the worn area needs very little preparation to uh, work this darning repair. It can be worked over top of frayed, um, frayed yarns um, and irregular holes. It's fairly easy to work and fairly fast to work. It's ideal for sock heels because it produces a, a nice, firm, sturdy repair. The drawbacks are that it doesn't match the knitted fabric look but for sock heels, they're inside a shoe. So it, it uh, typically isn't that much of an issue. It doesn't have a lot of stretch compared to the knitted fabric around it. So keep that in mind. You may not want to use it in areas where it will be extremely visible unless you are using a contrasting yarn or yarns um, and you're making it as uh, be a decorative effect. So how to work this? I have a hole. Let me kind of assess how big this hole is. And so I don't really need to clean it up any more than that. I will take my yarn. I'm using contrasting yarn um, in a thinner weight just for ease of demonstrating. Um, ideally, you would work with a matching yarn of the same or a slightly thinner weight um, is fine. Um, I tend to start at the and do my vertical, my horizontal lines first. So I start as far down as the hole goes and as far over. And, and I begin kind of some spot to the right. And I weave in and out. Let's see like so using the strands the 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 legs of the knitted stitches kind of as kind of base and then i move up and i and i alternate wherever i have stitches that i can work with and i Kind of weave my needle through. Like so. And I do this row by row. Using a darning egg or a, uh, or a light bulb or some other um, material behind so that you don't pull this too tightly can be helpful. And 
And I typically go up one extra row above the above the hole just to be safe. Like so. So now that I have my horizontal lines in place, now I can work on my vertical lines. And again, this is, this is simply weaving. And you alternate. You can go either in each column of knit stitches or in between as well, depending on how dense you would like to pack this. For this, I will just go in each column. Let's see, I can over go up so that I can weave the opposite. Over, under, over, under. Like so. And over, under, over, under. If I was using a thicker yarn, uh, going in every column would, would um, fill this space in a little more um, fuller. And like so. And now the hole is at least stabilized. And um, if I'd used thicker yarns and packed it a little more tightly, it would be fully repaired enough for this piece to then be worn again. So that is Scotch darning. Thanks for watching. <laughs>